Hi guys, welcome to Elite Ninjas. Now today we are going to talk about semiotics. Semiotics is the study of science. Now semiotics is a branch of structuralism that developed modes of studying science. Now what are science? Well objects, visuals, um, words, gestures, anything can be science. Well what about an object? Traffic signal because you know the structure, the concrete substructure is itself a sign telling us you need to obey these rules. Now the red light in the traffic signal generates the idea that you have to stop. What about this sign though? It's in red. Well, it asks you to proceed through, only through here. So the red sign means different things in different structures. Exactly that's what I'm going to say. Sign generates meaning within a structure. And the same sign can mean different things in different structures. If you are a Disney fan, you probably will understand why I have this. But if you are not, you probably will wonder, why do I have a monster? There are two origins attributed to semiotics. One is Saussurean and we have covered that the link is in the annotation. And the second one is C.S. Pierce. Saussure used the term semiology, but semiotics which was used by C.S. Pierce is more popular. Now semiotics is similar to structuralism because it does connect the elements of a text to a larger system. Now, Saussure had two concepts, signifier and signified, the two aspects of a sign, but Pierce has three. Okay, and the interaction between these three is called semiosis. Now, The first one is representamen or the signifier. Representamen means the signifier. That means a word, let's say cat. That word would be the representamen. Now second one, interpretant. When I said cat, the idea that generated in your mind, that's interpretant or signifier. Now the third one, object. That differs, right? That differs from the sociorin. Uh, structure. This is a triadic model and Saussurean is dyadic. Now these three elements when they interact that's called semiosis. Let's look at another example. Doctor is in. A board, board that you see in front of the door of a doctor or a wall. Now the sign itself doctor is in that's representative. Now the idea generated, the interpretation that you did, that's interpretant. And the object is the doctor. Signifiers are related to their object of reference in three ways. First one is symbol or symbolic. Now look at this candle. There is no candleness in this candle that made us call it candle. It's just a social convention we named it. There is no flowerness in a flower. Well, yes, onomatopoeic words are different. Yes, there is some connection with the object. Which brings us to the second point, icon or iconic relationship. Now in this there is some physical re relationship to the object. Now photograph is a good example. It physically resembles the object. Onomatopoeic words tries to capture the uh, actual object, the essence of actual object. His, the example that we discussed earlier. Now third one, index or index secure. Now here there is a connection between the signified Sorry, I should use object and the representamen or the signifier. Now, a fire symbol. 
the one that you see possibly on something that's flammable that tells you that okay this is flammable fever fever is a good symptom that tells you that there is something wrong now you can connect it or you can understand that there is some relationship to what's actually wrong and what's this symptom is if we apply what we learned from socio another sign generates another sign not a reality here the representation generated an interpreted not the reality that with that we have covered semiotics and it's definitely an interesting branch you can definitely go ahead and look at your favorite book and do a semiotic analysis and comment below thank you for watching like and share and subscribe Thank you.